In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Google Slides directly from Google Sheets. And you can do that at scale for as many as you want. This is a really simple example where we just have a few different fields in a Google Sheet and we've created a really simple template in Google Slides. And when our automation runs, it will create separate slide decks for those and put them into a Google Drive folder. I'm using a service called make.com for this, which is a no code automation tool. And it's really easy to get set up with this. This only takes two modules in this scenario and you can run this on a scheduled basis or use instant triggers, which we've also covered on the channel. Once you understand these concepts, then you can get far more sophisticated and check out the link in the description to Daniel's video on our main channel, where he gets data from multiple different data sources and then injects all of those into a far more complex and sophisticated Google slide deck. In this case, it's for the use case of an SEO monthly report. But let's start from the start with a basic example. I have this test data here. The data is a little bit contrived, but I'm simplifying it so you really understand the concepts of how these templates work. I simply have five different columns. I'm using a Google Slides template, but I've added in these curly brackets for company name, proposal title. Whenever we have these placeholders here, then the automation will inject that data into the slides from the spreadsheet. This is the first slide, and this is the second slide, where it's simply just going to inject focus area one, two, and three, from this spreadsheet. And then you can make this as complex as you want afterwards. But let's start off with this simple example. I've opened up my make.com scenario here. From here, I'm gonna select Google Sheets and watch new rows. Then I'm gonna search by path, my drive, and then I'm gonna select my spreadsheet. So Google Sheets to Google Slides. Then I'm gonna select this SEO Workshops spreadsheet that I just created here. The sheet name will be the first name, and I'm going to limit to one to start with. So it will only pick up one row at a time. I'll select all because we want it to start from row number two. Then I'm going to go to Google Slides and show more and create a presentation from a template. Now I've added my connection. If you do not have a connection, then press add and then a pop-up will show up for you to authenticate with Google Slides. So next I'll select the title. For this, I'm just going to type in the company name and I'm going to go to date up here and just add in now, which is the timestamp, the current timestamp. Then I'm going to copy a presentation by drop down. So I'm going to choose my drive and I'm going to choose this presentation ID, which is this template that we created separately. I'm going to make tutorials, Google Sheets to Google Slides, and then it should show up with this consulting proposal template example. And a really neat feature of this make.com app for Google Slides is that it automatically grabs all of these placeholders that we've created. So all we need to do is map those directly from Google Sheets. So for company name, I'll select company name from Google Sheets, which is this here. I'll do the same for this workshop title, area, focus area three, focus area two. Then at the very end, I want to select the document location. I want all these documents to end up in this presentations folder. So I'll go to Google Sheets to Google Slides and select that presentations folder and press OK. Now I'll press save. Now I've pressed run once down here. It should have picked up the first row from this Google Slides and created a presentation. So let's go back to here. Looks good, it's created that presentation. Excellent, so we see it has added this title in here, the discovery workshop, the areas to focus on and so on. That's looking pretty good, although the title does not look very good, especially if you're going to be presenting this. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just for the moment, get rid of that date from the very end and I'll update the limit here to 10 so it can generate 10 slide decks at a time and then I'll press run once. It's going to pick up all of the remaining rows from Google Slides. As you see here, it's done one operation to take all of those. And each of those show up as a bundle within make.com. And you see here, it's been processing each of those and that shows up as three operations. So it's done all of that. Now let's refresh the page here. Now I'll go back to my Google Drive. I can see it's automatically created all of those. So I'll go into this one and we see it's created this presentation based on this template. And now you can extend this with as many placeholders as you want. You can also add in other modules such as OpenAI's GPT-40 and start injecting AI into the equation where it could, for example, take some of this data, create its own text and then inject that into the slides. You could then add lots of other modules to this such as email integration, Slack integration or whatever else you want to integrate this into your overall workflow. Then if you want to really take this to the next level, you can check out Daniel's automation on our main channel where we created an SEO monthly report audit integrating lots of different data items like data for SEO, Google Analytics, WordPress all together. So this shows 
how you can use things like Airtable and lots of different data sources and then inject those into Google Slides. So check out the link in the description for that. And if you want to get way ahead in your AI automation journey, then also check out the link in the description where you can get access to our community, where you'll get access to all of our automation templates, including the one in this video. We also have these courses and more on the way. You can get live support from us directly through our live workshops and in our active discussion boards. Thanks for watching.